now. Very active. We've been tracking that rain and that snow and that rain snow mix moving into the region all afternoon long and now it's showtime. We've been seeing a lot of that manifesting over top of the Seattle Metro where it is coming down as rain but barely. Take a look at that surface temperature right now is 31 degrees. Wind coming from the east about six miles an hour. That's a big part of the equation. We'll talk about the mechanics of this rain snow mix coming up in the full forecast. But what you need to know is this. We will be in first alert overnight tonight through Wednesday until we get the first of these two systems out of here. Now what we're talking about is a mix of some very cold rain, snow and freezing rain and then up towards the north, especially in Whatcom County, we are tracking more Fraser outflow winds, not as gusty or as cold as last week, but still not great either. So we do expect the greatest impacts to be in our north counties, but not just Whatcom. It looks like San Juan and portions of the Olympic Peninsula could see some accumulating snow, not only on Wednesday, but possibly into Thursday as well. Let's get to that radar. What you're seeing is a lot of color. We've got green, pink and white there. So what we've got is the greens obviously being the rain. That pink is that rain snow mix that could manifest as some freezing rain by the time we're done with this. And then take a look at that from Snohomish northward all the way up towards the Canadian border. We're tracking plenty of snow as well. We're going to talk about how it plays out through the rest of the night and when you can expect a warm up coming up. But in the meantime, we've got Julie live who's in the Arlington area. Are you seeing rain, snow or something in between? Hey, Mike, it's definitely rain coming down right now here, but the roads and the sidewalks here are already getting slick. Even some ponding off the side of the road that is freezing. So those icy road conditions are the main concern tonight. Just about an hour ago, we actually saw Washout crews out treating those highways. Washout tells us that it has crews moving their shifts to make sure that they have 24 hours of coverage because more of these conditions are expected across Western Washington. Mike, like you said, we're anticipating some freezing rain and even some snow. So if you want to come take a look, there's actually some freezing rain in Chehalis, which was already icing over onto cars. We also got some video from viewers from Lake Stevens, which shows freezing rain or sleet just pouring down earlier. You could actually even hear how loud it is. And then moving over to shoreline, the ground was just slippery in a lot of spots, which you're seeing right in that video. Those icy conditions can impact your morning commute. So wash out is really warning people to make sure you drive slow, safe and give yourself just plenty of space. The thing with ice is, is, you know, it's not always visible. And so if people don't see snow on the road, they might think that the road is clear, but that's not the case because ice can still be present and ice you know, it's still just as dangerous. Another thing to keep in mind from Washout is that freezing rain really can weigh down trees and power lines so they can fall down. So if you do see down lines or a down tree, make sure you report that if roads end up being closed, don't drive around those road closure signs. Washout also reminding people tonight to make sure you give those snow plows plenty of room on the roads as crews will be out there treating them again. We saw that just about an hour ago, so they are out there working on those roads. Make sure you give them plenty of space so you stay safe. We'll continue to be out here and bring you the latest on the conditions. For now, live in Arlington, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.